another quick reference is how to achieve select options in AMDB procedure. So we are not able to assign the select option variable directly to the AMDB method parameter. So that is not possible as of now. So how we can convert it? Pretty simple. First, convert the user input in, into a simple English. For example, suppose the user has entered uh, material values. So maybe they want uh, some ranges. So then it, it converted as material between these centers. And they want to enter some sequence, random values also. So or matner equal to 101. And then end, suppose they want to enter the value like material is not equal to some value. So not material equal, equal to this one. So this is the exclude option. And suppose if you have a value in a, a not exclude, no, sorry, not ranges, then it's really not between. So uh, this is a way we have to convert it, whatever the values entered by the uh, user. But it's a dynamic, right? User may enter anything in the select option. So how we can do that? Um, Okay, um, technically how we can do that, we'll see in the next slide. But before that, once this variable, this value or this statement is ready, the select option statement is ready, then store it in a variable, make sure that it's a string variable. And then this string variable is going to be part of your AMDP method parameter also. And make sure that variable is also a string uh, data type. So uh, the variable, the value is passed from your norm in the program string variable to AMDP method parameter variable. So once it is done inside the AMDP procedure, you have a function called apply filter and then uh, the source and then method parameter variable which currently holds the select option statements. So the source can be a database table. You can apply directly to the Mara or suppose you have an internal table. Already you retry some data from a database table. I want to apply to the internal table. Yes, that is also possible. Only difference is in the source you can enter Mara. Suppose if it is IT underscore Mara, then the, the same colon IT underscore Mara. So source can be a database table or an internal table as well. Then automatically, based on the select option, the, the filter will be applied to that particular source. So uh, we have a class and a method which helps you to convert the select option values to a, as a string variable. So that is nothing but CL SHDB cell tab combined cell tabs is a method. These are the three parameters you have to pass a value. So ID name cell tab is nothing but value name MATNR. It's a data element. So based on that, it will convert it, uh, convert it uh, in, into this uh, variable string. And then DREF is nothing but your select option variable. Okay, so this way you are able to make the select option statements. Hope this might be useful. Thank you so much. Bye.